Securing Microsoft 365 in Azure AD is increasingly important. One of the ways you can increase your security even more is with FIDO keys, with security keys. In this video, we're gonna take a look at getting a new security key set up and getting it registered and enrolled with Microsoft 365 and Azure AD. So today in the mail, I get one of these YubiKeys. Uh, brand new one, YubiKey 5 has NFC, USB-C. So we're gonna walk through the process of getting this set up, especially with some of the new features that have come to Azure AD. Uh, one of those new features is authentication strength. So if you go configure conditional access now in Azure Active Directory, there is this new authentication strength in preview. And they give you some different scenarios of how you can set up various authentication strength, what this actually means, and you have several options there. Down through this article, it talks about Windows Hello, a FIDO2 security key, that's what we're gonna do today, uh, certificate-based authentication, different ways that you can go set up conditional access and that authentication strength. In my tenant over here, I already have it. If you go under grant, you'll see you have require authentication strength in preview. So before maybe you would just do MFA here or a compliant device, but now you can go in and require something like passwordless multi-factor, uh, phishing resistant multi-factor. This is where that FIDO2 security key would come in um, or multi-factor authentication with uh, certain combinations of methods. So this is where you can actually start leveraging these FIDO keys now with conditional access. To do this, we have to have it all set up first. So I got my YubiKey, it's just pop it open here. I already opened it, I have not set this one up. I've set one up in the past. But on the back, it's a yubico.com slash start. Now I don't know that I need this. It says new, which one do we have? I have the YubiKey 5 NFC. They do have a video here before you start. Have your key ready. I have that, prepare trusted device, spare key, compatibility, it talks about different accounts. Microsoft, Azure AD is in here. Some other ones you may use, Twitter, 1Password. Uh, I've started to set up these YubiKeys with more of them. What I'm not sure is how the NFC will work. That actually might be a nice feature to have. Helpful tools the manager personalization tool. I may have, I do have the YubiKey manager installed. So if I drag this over, talks about, I do have the 5C, doesn't have the NFC one. Uh, if I would go plug this one in, probably not a bad idea just to make sure that any firmware is there, like to receive keystrokes, this is what happens on a Mac. Sure, we'll go in here and enable my YubiKey manager to enable keystrokes and enter in that password. Sure, we'll quit and reopen. Gotta love that Mac security there. So you can see, here's my new key, the NFC, applications, FIDO2, interfaces. Again, there's not a lot here. You can set certain settings when it comes to the YubiKey in terms of if you want to disable or enable, say, FIDO2 across uh, NFC or just the USB version. We're gonna leave it on for everything just because uh, I kinda wanna use NFC. It's a little bit of a stretch to plug in a USB-C device. So now that we have that set up, let's go over to my account. And I'm just gonna go into the Office 365 Admin Center here. You could do this through portal.office.com. This is my production account. So I actually don't want to surface any document sites, any of that. So that's why I'm going through the admin center. So I'm gonna go straight into view account. This is where I can never actually remember where those settings are. If that's in, I think it's security info. We're gonna go take a look. There we go. So here you can see my different methods. I have a couple authenticators registered. I have my phone number in here. This is my other security key that I have set up. Uh, so I do have my Yubi key set up here. I wanna go add a new sign-in method. Um, this is also something that has to be enabled by your administrator. So there is a toggle in Azure Active Directory. I'll put the documentation to that down in the show notes. Uh, it's really just 
are you gonna enable FIDO2 authentication keys or not? So we are going to add a security key. To set up a security key, you need to sign in with two-factor authentication. So I'm not gonna use a security key because that's what I'm trying to set up. I'm gonna go ahead and approve it on my Authenticator app. Perfect. I am signed in now so I can register a new key. And type of key. So this one, it is that UBC 5C NFC. So I could do it USB or NFC. I'm actually gonna start with NFC. I wanna see how this works, because I've done a key before. We'll go back and do the key as well. Uh, have your key ready. You will be prompted to tap your security key on the reader, touch the button or sensor, perfect. Uh, redirect me to a new window. My PC, use a phone with a QR code. This is a USB. See, you know, this is use the USB, insert my key and touch it. All right, so key is inserted. Touch the key. I'm gonna enter in a pin here for my key. Touch the key again. Allow the site to see your security key. So we're gonna allow that. So I'm really curious, that was all there was to it, how that NFC works. So we're gonna name this one. This is our YubiKey 5C NFC. I wanna be able to differentiate these. So just like that, I'm all set. I don't know if this used NFC or not. I'm gonna go add another sign-in method. We're gonna do the YubiKey again, and this time use a USB device. I'm wondering, NFC may not be supported on Mac OS. Um, this is gonna be interesting if this tells me it's already set up. Again, because it's forcing me to do NFC or USB, it's not letting me do NFC here. So we'll do USB again. Yeah, I already registered this one. So I don't know that I can necessarily do NFC, which is kind of a bummer. I was hoping I could do NFC. I wonder if I can do NFC with a different one. So that is now registered. I'm gonna unplug it and see if somehow, amazingly, NFC started working. Let's go to a new in private window. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go to my admin center and log in. So this way, I make sure I don't have any Browser history, next. This is going to be my work account. This is gonna to try to do passwordless. I'm gonna do other ways to sign in, and I wanna use Windows Hello or a security key. See, and this is where I can't, uh, it's not giving me the option for NFC. Um, I don't know, again, if another browser will work. I can do that, but I am gonna to have to, oh, throw in my security key around. Uh, go in, insert the security key uh, that's inserted. I can touch it now. It does ask for the pin. Type that pin in. Oh, I forgot, after I type it in, I have to touch it again. Certificate issues, someday I'll go figure that one out. And just like that, I'm logged into my admin center. So NFC is work, or not NFC, my USB is working with this YubiKey 5C. I am gonna go look over here. Talked about Azure Active Directory. Let's go see if it has anything in here about NFC. Not an authentication string. Okay, here we go. So OS, Mac OS, look at that. Mac OS has nothing for NFC. So unfortunately, NFC is only Windows. If you are on Windows, you can go ahead and use NFC. It looks like with most browsers, um, other than Safari, which I don't even know if they make Safari for Windows anymore, uh, but, I guess I'm gonna have to go get a Windows device or maybe NFC will come at some point in time in the future for Mac OS. But that is how you set up an NFC device. Uh, again, these are super nice. I have three of them now. Highly recommend them for logging in, especially if you do wanna do secure login. If you're in an environment where maybe users have personal phones and they don't wanna register their personal phone for a text message or for the authenticator app, uh, go pick up some of these YubiKeys. Those are the ones I primarily use. I have a couple of those. I do have one other security key as well. But go pick those up. Have users register with them with Azure AD and start using those for authentication. Uh, let's get rid of these passwords. So that is all for now. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, leave a comment below, contact me on my website. And as always, thanks for watching.